What if, from across the globe, some of us who are willing to do so, can pull in a group of friends, or coordinate with local fellow members here in this group or other groups, we film clips of us together for watch parties for that particular Amico reveal. Just a cell phone on a $15 tripod, let Intellivision do the edits or source it out among several of us. Intellivision then has footage of hundreds, thousands, of us reacting to the reveal if we want to share that, I guess up to guests each other if we want to share. Each viewing party can have some quick three, four second quip, hey Intellivision, you think Brooklyn's not gonna give you some love? Forget about it. Chicago loves Amico. Hey Amico, Montreal veut être ton ami. Hey Amico, Los Angeles checking in, let's play already. It costs us basically nothing. Shows massive grassroots interest in Intellivision. Probably several of us could meet up for an afternoon, which could be kind of cool. Imagine if they could then show that footage on Ellen or the Today Show. As someone might be inclined to say, wouldn't that be something? Talking about for the if we're talking about this Amico home app and we're doing bar trivia or sports trivia or, or video game trivia or candy trivia, whatever it is, we're playing emoji charades. Have something if you you scan that QR code or you're or you get by that app to go there, have a message board where hey, and I'm not even I'm not joking when I say this, people are gonna think I'm crazy, but have it to where I can say, Hey, uh so and so in the red shirt over there, you know, like hey, I challenge you to I challenge you to uh this this trivia game or or hey, can I buy you a drink? You know, maybe, maybe in nice ways. Like obviously, Uncle you Chuck me. sounds extra creepier now. Tommy's vacation is near over. It feels like it's been an eternity without him here talking to us. I hope he has some new announcements and cool stuff to share about Amico upon his return. I think either way you see it right now, the Amico has cemented itself as whether it's in controversy or not controversy or people that love it, people that hate it, it is here and it's something big. So whether you love it or not, it's going to be a success and it's going to come out when it comes out. What about doing, we're talking about Sega and you're always like, oh, it's always like the Sonic series or the Genesis series or another Genesis pack. What if they did a, they were like, hey, for, for Amico, we're going to do an exclusive uh, 10 pack of Dreamcast games. And they just ported some Dreamcast games. You don't see that anymore. I think it'd be. You know, I mean, other than emulation, you know, what if they did an official 
uh, release on, on, on something like Amico, which would easily support it, I would think. Uh, uh, well, you- the Crazy Taxi and a bunch of other stuff, you know. sweetest things I'm finding at the age of 55. Many younger folks have no idea of the cartoons, toys, and generally the stuff we used as kids. To be able to reintroduce things, all via an Intellivision Amico, to the masses of all ages. Things like Hong Kong Fooey, the Banana Splits, Gilligan's Island, G.I. Joe with Kung Fu Grip, Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom, Saturday Morning Cartoons, with all of the learning commercials we had. Schoolhouse rocks, am I right? We can do so much better than the BS on the TV these days, like The Bachelor, where it seems only debauchery and angst rules prime time. We can do so much better than only blood and guts in video games to get one excited and to have fun. Sure, there are times and places for these things, but bring back a family fun focus during prime time in the media and get people excited about that and not the BS we see today. It excites me to no end that maybe our little Amico can make a big difference in this world and bringing family back. Even if that family is just a husband and wife, or any party of two for that matter, think outside of the box and make fun games without all the BS. I mean, a true comedian can make someone laugh by his actions and not only drama and angst that many seem to think they have to use. It can be done make us laugh again in the simple spirit of just being alive. Let our minds imagine again. In television, let our minds imagine again. Imagine again. Basically, you're thinking of collectors with the physical media. They've got a high score to like challenge it. You've yeah, got the family yeah. angle so you can bring everyone in and play together. There's a game exactly. for everyone. Yeah. You know. I, I, I really don't understand why people don't like the system. No, I don't. I uh, don't either. I don't. And if, if it's anything like the, the Wii was, it yeah. should it should be massive. Realistically, it should be massive. Because I and mean, it's got it's quality games. games. Yeah. yeah, that's it, mate. Right, boom. John says, uh, "Do you think Amico will succeed?" What will be the system seller and how many units do you think they will? Jesus Christ, Jan, put me on the spot. Uh, will it be succeed? Absolutely, 100%. I completely believe that with the right marketing, it has the potential to be the next week. And I truly believe that's going to happen. Uh, what will be the system seller? It depends who you're talking about. Are you talking about me as a retro guy and all the rest of us? So you're talking about a, a mainstream non gamer who uses a tablet and a phone and it's difficult. I mean, I'd, for me, there's too many to pick. For me, it'd be like, I, think, ugh, I don't know. I'd probably say Finnegan Fox, Moon Patrol, uh, two of the big ones for me that have really sell the system. Astro Smash, now I've played it. Night Stalker, now I've played it, and I know what to expect. It's, those are big ones. But as far as like the actual casual audience that aim in the machine at, I have absolutely no idea. I don't know what, I don't know any casual gamers, so <laughs> it's, it's hard to say. And how many units do you think they will sell? To be honest with you, I think I'm going to be. I'm going to say, well, I, I, I honestly, I'm going to whatever. I probably, probably won't, but I think 100 million. They can do Nintendo Wii numbers with the right marketing strategy. I definitely think they've got possibility. With the Amico, I think the Intellivision is poised to recapture a middle ground that the video game industry hasn't catered to since the 80s, and it's going to succeed even beyond Tommy Tyler Rico's wildest dreams. I think that over its lifetime, the Amico is going to sell over 200 million units, and it's going to become the best-selling console of all time.
We love but, you, Tommy. Uh, uh, you know, we love you and uh, love yeah, you, Tommy. Yeah. He is awesome. He is just outright awesome. I don't care what anybody says. Everybody can downvote us. They can leave nasty comments. I love Tommy. Now nah, we Thank love you, you man. That's a big. Thank you, Tommy. I love you. I've spent the last year going, holy shit, I'm friends with Tommy Tallarico. I, I, you know I love you, man. Yeah. And this has been awesome. I love you.